hey guys welcome back to our channel where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great thank you guys so much for tuning in watching another video to my amazing supporters thank you guys so much for all of your amazing amazing support i love y'all i appreciate y'all for watching commenting liking subscribing sharing and just supporting me i appreciate you guys so so much so today is currently friday it's friday friday september 23rd 2022 is currently 1 34 p.m it is fall you guys oh my god i woke up this morning it was cold like so dang cold but you know what that means you get to wear hoodies you get to wear sweats or whatnot so anyways i'm gonna get straight 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 into this video so i wanted to talk to you guys about um the importance of looking your best so i've talked to some of y'all and y'all love like my inspirational content so i'm gonna give it to y'all but i'm gonna find a way to give it to y'all in a way where like it's just different and unique just just stay tuned and keep watching y'all will see what i'm talking about so um while i'm getting dressed um i just got out the shower not too long ago or whatnot so i want to do my baby hair my hair um and do some makeup not a lot but just enough because i plan on filming a lot of content today so um yeah i just want to be extra cute for that content and on top of it it's just gonna go with like the message behind this video so i'm gonna be stopping and talking to y'all while i'm getting dressed um, so if you know i use got to be for my edges and i use um an edge control brush um so yeah i wanted to talk to y'all about like the importance of looking your best because i feel like sometimes people think like just because they're going through something they feel like just because they're going through something that they have to look like what they're going through and i don't agree with that like for me um and i'm gonna open up about like certain things um in this video and then in a separate video i'll go like in more depth about it but um, a perfect example is some of y'all that know me, y'all know that um, my husband and I went through eviction, right? And while we was going through the process of being evicted, um, people couldn't tell like that, dang, they're going through it. Like they can't afford to um, not pay their rent because we didn't carry ourselves like people that couldn't afford to pay our rent. We still, you know, dressed our best wherever we went and just did whatever we had to do you know so no matter like where you are in your life right now whatever it is that you're going through always look your best and i know sometimes people can misunderstand looking your best as putting on designer or affording more expensive clothes or affording new clothes no maybe you're in a position financially where you can't afford like new clothes but that's okay if you can't afford new clothes find your best pieces of clothes and put them on like for me and i notice i tend to do that when i'm going through like the worst of the worst like i'll be dressing my best like my fashion creativity go to a whole nother level and people just be like oh you look so good you look this you look that you know and i would be like dang well if only i knew what i was going through you know but i personally believe like because you never know like when you're going through certain things who you might meet and who you might attract so let's say you're going through like a bad financial crisis right and maybe you don't have a job right now or even if you have a job you're just going through a bad financial crisis still carry yourself nicely because you could meet someone that's a financial advisor that can help you get through that and just the way you carry yourself can grab their attention you know you spark up a conversation and you never know where that conversation goes you know so that's my biggest thing is like whatever you're going through everybody don't really gotta know what you're going through because of how you look sometimes it can be obvious 
but you could break past that obviousness like if you're sick for example um you're going through like a sickness or a health condition like you don't gotta be dirty and stink and all smelly like for people to see that oh this person has a health condition no like put on some perfume clean yourself up carry yourself good if y'all get what i mean like i hope y'all like really understand where i'm coming from with this because sometimes i see people like they're going through stuff and they look even worse than what they're going through and not because they have to but because they choose to you know their state of mind is like oh i'm going through this right now so i'm gonna just walk around looking like this and it's like no you don't gotta walk around looking like a certain way because you're going through something you know what i'm saying like <sighs> Whoever's watching this video, whatever it is that you're going through in your life, you don't have to look like what you're going through. Get up, go take a shower, like work out, like carry yourself good, man. Carry yourself nicely because even if you dress a certain way or carry yourself a certain way, like look like what you're going through, it's not going to change your situation. So get up, feel good, like put on some a nice outfit like even if you're in the house that's me like even if i'm in the house just chilling i still like just getting cute like i'm not going nowhere right now but as you can see i got a nice little hoodie on um hold on and then i got these little comfy pants on like still cute still presentable that's the word that i'm looking for like still let yourself look presentable and be presentable you don't have to look like everything that you're going through and that's just what i wanted to share with you guys in this video is like pick yourself up because i feel like when when you um when you carry yourself a certain way as well it makes it easier for you to get through whatever it is that you are going through you get what i'm saying so yeah just pick yourself up um take a shower clean yourself up brush your teeth like still maintain yourself don't create more problems for yourself because i've also seen people do that where they like they just create more problems for themselves based on what they're going through and that's why i said that's why even when i'm going through it i fight so hard not to let myself get depressed i fight so hard to make sure that i still eat i still make sure that i take care of myself why because when you don't you're just creating more problems for yourself you know what I'm saying? the moral of this video is when you look like what you're going through sometimes you just create more problems for yourself and that's not a good thing like if you're like oh i'm not going to brush my teeth as often because i'm going through this financial crisis or i'm not going to eat because i can't afford to pay rent no baby you still gotta eat because if you don't eat now you might pass out end up in the hospital and it's more like you just create more problems on top of a problem that you already have so whatever it is that you're going through no matter what you're going through you don't have to look like what you're going through still get up still look your best still dress your best like and i'm not saying like i said i'm not saying that you gotta get up and put on a full blown face of makeup and you gotta wear like the most expensive clothes or whatever no just get up and look your best feel your best you don't have to look like what you're going through um because you can attract better things just by looking better if that makes sense like i remember i was talking to um I was talking to someone i'm not gonna say who it is and they were asking me like how do you attract a certain caliber of like guys and i'm like well change how you dress like because i found that out when i was in college i would say like i used to dress a certain way and i realized when i dressed that way i would attract the lamest guys like let me tell y'all i attracted some lame dudes like seriously but when i started changing how i dress i started changing the type of guys i would attract so that's what i told the person i'm like don't carry yourself a certain way like for example you don't have to be like depending on who you are but this is me if you're like naturally beautiful which i believe everybody is in their own way right you don't have to be revealing and dress like a quote-unquote slut you don't right um for lack of a better word you don't 
but you could use your personality to attract a certain caliber of people you could use the way you dress to stop attracting a certain caliber of people the way you talk the way you communicate like you got to think different and find a different way to attract whatever it is that you want and it's the same thing when you are going through a problem dress nicely um so that you can find ways to attract nice results attract good results but if you dress bad and dress like what you're going through when you're sympathetic and you're like oh woe is me like that's what you're gonna attract you're gonna attract a bunch of sympathetic people that all they could do for you is sympathize with you they can't really help you with anything if you kill yourself by based on what you're going like if you're like oh i'm going i'm down bad right now i'm going through it and you carry yourself all dirty all like unattractive and stuff that's what is going like that's what you're going to attract in your life like i read this book um called you will win by jacaylin carr and in it she was talking about like you can't look like a disaster expecting victory like you know what i'm saying like you can't you can't be like expecting like winning result positive things to happen looking a mess like you just can't so that's what I'm saying like just know how to carry yourself know how to be like okay I'm going through this right now but this is a temporary situation it's not forever so I don't have to look like what I'm going through you can't look like a defeat expecting victory that's what she said and a lot of not a lot of people do that but I know some people that do that and I'm doing this video to help people like them because I used to be that way as well to be very honest like I used to think like okay you know I'm not on top right now so I'm not gonna carry myself like a person that's on top like no you gotta carry yourself like you are on top even if you're not because that can help you to attract the right people that will help take you to the top not people that will keep you down where you are so i really hope y'all enjoyed this video um i hope y'all enjoyed this topic i hope y'all learned something from it um yeah thank you guys for tuning in i'm gonna go do my makeup real quick and then i'm gonna come back and just show y'all the finished product all right y'all so i am back i'm done doing my makeup as y'all can see i did my brows and i did light um what is that called eyeshadow it's a mascara the thing with makeup is you get so tempted to like put on more but i'm not putting on no more i just gotta do my setting spray which is this um and then i'm done but the thing that i wanted to tell y'all um as well that i was thinking about while i was um finishing up my makeup um when remember this video is about looking your best so the thing that um i was remembering y'all there was this guy i used to work at um my brother's high school and he used to dress up in a suit y'all and everybody used to um he used to dress up in a suit and i could just i could just say it's not a bad reference he used to drive his mom's cadillac or whatever and people used to talk about him like i remember when because when i worked at my brother's school i was a new um ta i was a new teacher's assistant and all the other teacher's assistant would like talk about him and stuff they would say oh you gotta meet um this guy i'm not gonna say his name um but you got they'll be like oh you gotta meet such and such he thinks he's the superintendent or he dressed sharper than the superintendent or whatever like but he's just a ta like they used to talk about him y'all and um later on like i came to find out oh, i forgot i gotta do my lips but later on i came to find out that he um he ended up becoming um he got like a really big promotion or whatever i think he became like the principal out of school or something like that and me and my husband was talking about it one day like wow that's crazy how he went from being a teacher's assistant and although he was just a teacher's assistant he never dressed like one like people like i said the way he carried himself you would think he was the principal of the school or 
um you know he he ran the school like but that's what that the point of me telling you this story is you don't have to look like what you're going through and you don't have to look like where you are you know what i'm saying if even if you're not where you want to be if you're a teacher's assistant and you want to become the principal or you want to become um the superintendent whatever it is you want to be start dressing like that start carrying yourself like that if you're in a financial crisis right now if you're broke and you want to be rich someday start carrying yourself like rich people do rich people don't carry themselves all dirty and unattractive and sympathetic no they carry themselves a certain way and that's why they've attracted riches and gained the riches that they got because they don't look at themselves based on where they are or who they are today. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm gonna cut this video short. I wish I could do my lip, um, my lips on camera, but it doesn't matter. If y'all want to see a makeup uh, tutorial video, y'all could go watch um, my video on my makeup routine or whatever but outside of that thank you guys for tuning in and just remember you don't have to look like what you're going through and you can't walk around looking like a defeat expecting victory if you're expecting victory in your life dress like a victorious person dress like a winner you can't dress or carry yourself like a loser expecting to win like if you're expecting to win carry yourself how winners carry themselves if you don't know how winners carry themselves Go do some research and find out. Google is free. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that's all I have for y'all. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Bye. All right, y'all. So when I was closing this video, I, I saw how crusty my lips look and I said, I gotta give them a finished look. So I went, did my finished look, and here you have it. So my baby hairs are laid, brows are done, uh, eyeshadow, and yeah. Bye, that's all I wanted to tell y'all.